Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about a new feature within Zoho CRM dashboards called cohort analysis. So I'm going to walk you through how to build one, the benefits of it, and you'll actually see with some dummy data how this could actually make sense to your team and you could make meaningful business insights out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to dashboard. I created a sample dashboard just by hitting this create dashboard here. And now we're at this page. So I'm going to add a component. So many of you will now see two new uh, types of dashboards within your system. And today we're going to talk about the cohort. So I'm going to click cohort. So Zoho does a really good job giving you kind of a, a GUI editor to make your dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one. But you can see the idea here. And the cohort basically stacks two things against each other. And we'll walk through a live example in this video. So first off, what I'm going to show you in this video is we're going to build a cohort analysis that basically says how many deals are created per month, and then how many deals are closed, and how long does it take to close them. So for example, I create a deal in Jan on January 1st. Does it take me two months to close or five months to close? And it'll stack all of your data up against each other so you can start seeing, on average, we take less than two months to close a deal. If we take longer than that, it's going to go dry or stale or you'll lose it. So I'm going to call this deals closing analysis. I'm going to select the module and I'm going to choose deals. So you might have them call jobs or potentials or opportunities. It's our, it, it's a revenue module. We're going to group it by the created time and we're going to group it by month. So we want more of a macro view. You could do by year or by day. So in the example on the right, you can see it's by day. I'm going to do by month and I'm just going to tell it. So first off, it's asking you here, you can see it highlighted on the right record count. So first it's just saying, what do you want to compare by? So I'm just going to count all deals created by month. Then the verses, you can see it highlights the right. That's what criteria do you want to match this against or compare it against? So I'm also going to count the deals, but then the ones on the right, I want to see the ones that closed. So stage is closed one. And now what's going to happen is on the left here, we're going to see by month how many deals were created. And on the right here, we're going to see how many were actually closed and how many months it took to close them. So now we're going to say we want to see the created time and we're going to compare it to the closing date. So created time on the left, closing date on the right. The interval, interval is going to be by month and I want one to 10 months. So I'm also going to give a criteria here that basically says, I only want to see the ones that were created in the last, I'm going to go down here, age and days, less than or equal to 365, just to shorten the data a bit. So I'm going to hit save and take a look at what the chart gives me. So one thing you can do within here, you can actually hit edit. You can go back in and change anything you'd like. But you could see here there's a really good sample chart. If I hit reorder, I can actually click this and make it larger. So now I've made it larger. And I'm also going to go into full screen just so you can see here. So. Look at this, November 2018, 26 deals were created. Eight of them were closed within the first month. And then it trickles down from there. Same example here, January 2019, 19 were opened, seven were closed within the first month. So you can see with this data, the odds of closing a deal are very high within the first month or two, and more so within the first month. In the latest months, we've been closing within a month very accurately. So this gives you very good business insights and you could use this in any, any part of your business. This could be with leads, deals, invoices, etc. So go ahead, give it a shot. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave any comments in the section below.